Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, with a pouch from Mike McLaughlin. That's right, this is still happening. This is still going on. There's still one, two, one, two more knives left in this little envelope. And we, today, are maybe going to finish it off? I don't know. I don't know. Mike, you send me a lot of knives, pal. You'll get them back someday, maybe. Maybe not. But it's time for the next knife. Let's go. That's right, a pouch. Not a package, not a bag, not a box. A pouch. A big pouch from Orion Knives pouch, even though there are no Orion Knives in here. Yeah, it's just one. It's just one. The final knife, Michael, what is it? It's an MBK, I can tell by the clip right away. Oh, oh yeah. I remember. I remember. Uh, nothing left, there's nothing left in there. Goodbye. This is the MBK Monterey Bay Knives Rosalinda, baby. And uh, it is, I think, the newest release from them. And it is is very big, much bigger than I expected it to be. <laughs> a full-size knife. Spider-Cook Bear 3, yeah, bigger than that. B uh, right there, right there, bigger than that. Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall, yeah, bigger than that. It's a big knife, e PM2 size-ish. You know, it's not massive, but it's not, it's not tiny. It ain't tiny. Uh, we have a single stud, not a double stud. Single stud, the OG, that, that go-to, excuse me, a titanium... Monterey Bay Knives pocket clip. Uh, this has the gold anodizing, full titanium build, uh, stainless steel inset lock. Not a not a liner lock, but an inset lock. So full titanium construction with a liner lock bolted onto one side. Right, uh, kind of common these days. R Laconico on the blade spine there. No jimping, just R Laconico. Ray Laconico, kind of a goat, kind of an OG, kind of the real deal. You know what I mean? We have what looks like a front flipper tab. We'll see about that here in a second. But otherwise, very simple construction. Nice titanium backspacer. Uh, some internal milling to keep the weight down. Yeah, clean, simple. It's what MBK does. That's what Ray Laconico does. Clean, simple, elegant, beautiful. Uh, kind of weighty, but not overwhelmingly heavy. Let's flick this thing open. Again, single stud, which, you know. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And we, of course have this beautiful drop point, kind of like a, a we have a massive swedge dagger ground-ish. Future me, what, what do you call this grind? I don't know. You in the comments, let me know. But we have this nice tall flat grind, ZDP-189 sand my blade. Uh, they heat treat their, their ZDP-189 to like 67 HRC, the actual cutting edge here. So you see the two-tone, that line, it's like 67 HRC at the cutting edge, which is nuts for a production knife especially one as affordable as this future me yeah thank you running on ceramic bearings absurd action wow uh we'll get to that in a second open size comparison tactile knife co rockwell yeah yeah full size knife like i said good size contouring on that on this scale looks nice pair three yeah bigger knife not big big ish it's called big ish it's an official term it's what we're calling it lockup is solid Really nice looking clean. Ergo's in hand. Yeah. Choke back. Full size knife. Full four finger grip. Easy peasy. Choke all the way back. Feels good. Nestle up here. Oh, feels nice. No hot spots. Uh, no jimping on the blade spine, but that feels good. Thumb way out on the blade here. Locked in. Feels nice. No finger choil at all. We have a little tiny sharpening choil here. Don't know if that's a mod or if that's how it came. But uh, you can get right about here as far as choke up goes. Pinch grip. I have my doubts. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Pinky locked in down here 60% of the day. It's not a pinch grip all day. Not even close, but 50, 60%. It feels fine. I can do some detail work with this, even though it is a little back heavy because of that backspacer. Very, very nice. Again, lock up solid. The action is absurd. Really nice detent. It's not super snappy, but more than enough to get that blade going. But the close is terrifying. <laughs> that thing just drops. Can you front flip it? Oh, all day. Easy peasy. And look how tiny this front flipper is. It's like barely noticeable. Super easy to get out. 
I really wish it was double studs so I could reverse flick it. Can you lefty reverse flick it? Oh, easy, dude. Lefty? Lefties are going to love this. Uh, the clip is not reversible, unfortunately. But you can very easily left hand reverse flick this thing all day. Left hand uh, front flip? Whoop. Sure. Yeah. God, that thing drops. I'm so used to MBK knives being on washers, not bearings. So the, the closing action is <laughs> blowing my mind, dude. It's so scary. Ah. Eh. Look at this. Eh. I can't get out of the way quick enough. Yeah, 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 oh, that's horrifying. I love it. Listen to these acoustics real quick. Man, the drop. Ah. It's horrifying. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> God, that's crazy. Really, really, I love MBK. I've never been let down. Such a cool knife. Big boy. Big boy. But we ought to cut something with it. Again, ZDP 189. Nice tall flat grind. Massive swedge up here. Uh, just a clean, simple drop point style blade. Um, and I'm betting you she'll cut. But let me get the phone book. Just right quick. Let's see if she'll cut for me. Oh, God, yeah. And again, 67 HRC. Stupid. Stupid heat treat on that ZDP 189. Really cool steel. Uh, a Sanmai ZDP-189. It's just interesting and fun, and it's why I love handling so many knives. It's for crazy stuff like this. I just love it. It's wild. Love MBK. Love Ray Laconico. Love this knife. Super cool. Future Me will leave links down below. Uh, Future Me, how much is this? And is it even in stock? Thanks. Uh, really, really cool knife. Mike, I appreciate you sending all these uh, bangers over to me to check out. I really do. I will get them back to you at some point. I have to package up all the giveaway winners uh, stuff this evening, so that'll be fun, and record a podcast. It's going to be a wild day. But that is it for me, the Ray Laconico Design MBK Rosalinda. Check it out for yourself down below if it's available. But that is it. Thank you again oh so very much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, become a channel member, a Patreon member. Check me out on Instagram, on TikTok, on uh, 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 threads, Facebook, I guess. That's it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.